Donna Odegaard here and I'm speaking today to Miranda Tapsell and Gwilym Lee and we're going to be talking about Top End Wedding. So welcome to Larrakia Country, welcome home. Thank you. And um, it's really good to see you and thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Now Miranda, I'd like to um, just start with you to say um, I was at the premiere last night, the yes. Darwin premiere, and uh, you know, both yourself and, and Gwilym were welcomed. And I must say that everybody wanted uh, a piece of you, not just because of this sensational new movie, uh, but just to see you uh, and your faces and a lot of our people who've come from so far and wide to actually be there last night. Uh, firstly, Miranda, what, what did you think of it? Oh, uh, I was incredibly proud to be back home. I mean, my cousin Mary did Welcome to Country, so I was very, very touched by that. Um, in fact, I think that was sort of what got me going. <laughs> I was, as soon as I'd stepped out, I was just like, oh, where do I even begin because um, I have no words to describe how proud I am to to uh, have been born on my grandmother's, my great grandmother's um, ancestral lands. It always grounds me when I come back home and uh, I think I really just wanted to be honest with that in the film. So Gwilym, can I ask you, how has this been for you coming to Darwin and actually seeing, you know, being immersed in, in our culture as well? to a certain extent. How, how did you feel about that? Yeah, well, it was, um, it's amazing. It's amazing. I mean, in, in many ways, coming here yesterday felt like a little bit of a homecoming for us as well, um, you know, because although we were only here for a brief period of time, we were so welcomed by the people here uh, that it really felt like coming home a little bit. But um, this whole experience has just been fascinating. I, I didn't know a huge amount about like the history and culture of this country until I kind of took on this this project, and then I saw it as my responsibility to try and school myself a little bit before before coming here and taking on this this, Which you uh, did really this story. Well. Yeah, yeah, because and I just really kind of um, appreciate that uh, idea of um, respecting like the, the the place that you're in. Like uh, you know, I come from a I live in a big city, London, and it's very easy to just kind of pass through life without really considering like where you are and like the stories that have kind of like preceded you in that place and I've been really touched by like that kind of uh, history and culture and tradition it's really important. So coming together for this project as you say I mean top end wedding I mean it immediately evokes for everyone in Australia and I travel widely it, it tells you where the location is and we expect uh, humour and, mm. and also, you know, real human stories. So, uh, Miranda, what was it like actually first, you know, the concept and then looking at how this was actually uh, panning out for you? I, I did feel a great deal of responsibility of, of making sure that... Um that uh, the territory territory was represented in a in a really sort of um, uh, kind and thoughtful way. Um, I wanted to make sure that I punched up when I um, represented the the people of the Northern Territory. Um, but one thing that always stayed with me, like when we wrapped, um, a lot of artists talk about getting those those. Um, like the post-show blues, like you sort of, you sort of go, oh, I've, I've, ha I've built all of these sort of intimate relationships in a, in a really fast amount of time and now um, that's finished, that like everyone's got to wipe a project away like a sand mandala, like the Buddhists do. And, um, and it was heightened for this because it obviously meant so much to me, but um, it was lovely. It, what really stayed with me was that um, someone in the crew just sort of reminded me like, um, remember like Gwilym is going to go back to the other side of the world and he's not going to be able to de de describe the feeling that he had when he was here. Um, um, he, like, cause that, like this part of the world just hasn't been presented to, um, to the people of London or to the people in the US, but it, it has now because of Sundance, you know. Absolutely. And, uh you know, you are, uh, in your own right, 
uh, a bit of a uh, global sensation uh, for what the work that you've done as well. And and look, Miranda, um, you know, you, your wonderful career thus far speaks for itself. Um, how has it been coming together uh, from those different backgrounds? I know that, you know, it's the industry or the profession that you're in, but for you, Gwilym, uh, do you, are you seeing through different eyes? Well, I just remember um, uh, meeting Miranda back in 2017 when this all came about and she happened to be in London at the time on holiday. And uh, I'd read the script and I'd put myself on tape for it. And um, uh, from that, Miranda very kindly agreed to meet up with me and uh, it kind of take some of her holiday and uh, you know give it up to this uh, thing and um, yeah I just realized like so much of this story was like it's it was her story you know and I that's it's it meant so much to her it's so much about her experience her her family and her people and her and her country that I, was, I just thought I, I want to be involved in that and that's like I don't know, the beauty of storytelling that you can unite people from other sides of the world, really, um, to tell this very kind of beautiful, very specific story, which is so specific to this place and to Tiwi and to the other places that we visited, but actually, I think, has a really kind of universal appeal mm. of, of connecting to family and home and, and, uh, and heritage. Speaking about Tiwi, now, we, we uh, heard that the uh, people of Tiwi just went right into mode. Can you tell us about that? How, how were the ladies, you know, and knowing that there was, this was about a wedding? We had the Wanga Tunga Strong Women's Choir um, sing in the film and uh, they, actually, um, they actually wrote um, a song specifically for Lauren, um, my character. And without ruining the story too much, um, I guess uh, it was just a song about welcoming her home. And um, and when they they first played it for us, like um, when we had a sort of a big barbecue for the community, and um, and so the women uh, came to our accommodation and brought out the, their guitars and started singing. And um, I just I just when I when I saw Gwilym's eyes, I just I just <laughs> lost it because. Um, I just, I just knew that uh, this was we, uh, that we were all a part of something really, really special, and um, and I mean that was what was so great about that was what was so great about when I met Gwilym was that um, I was kind of I guess I was kind of concerned about well not concerned but I guess I just thought would would this would this be accessible to to uh, a man living in london will he understand the humor will he understand um the the more poignant moments in it will he understand the significance of of all of the cultural aspects of it and and i couldn't believe it like he'd never been to that part of australia and he just got it he just saw that he just saw he just put himself in in ned's shoes and um and he just completely understood he understood what uh, what the story was about, and and it was even more apparent to me when he heard the women sing, because he then opened up and he said, um, like uh, he said, I'm not comparing um, I'm not comparing my my experience of being from a Welsh family to you being from a Tiwi family. I know that they're completely different, but I want you to know that I find a lot of solidarity with the fact that I grew up in Birmingham. I didn't grow up in Wales where my parents were born. Um, and I, and I, and when just watching these women sing, um, they sung from their heart. And that's how I feel when I'm with my own countrymen and, the, and they're in a pub singing in Welsh. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. <laughs> and you know, that speaking from the heart is a big thing. Mm. And that's what comes through. Mm. This is a wonderful production in that it is linking us from across the world. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Did you feel that? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, you're quite right. It's like, um, you know, everyone's got their version of home and of family and of belonging. And in this story, it's about Tiwi and, you know, it's about this part of the world. But, you know, for me, it was about, I, I, I recognised that it was about, I could relate to my Welsh heritage. And I think, you know, we've taken this film to America, to uh, Sundance and to New York, and everyone's got their version of what that means to connect to, to home and family. And I think um, the fact that you've made it so specific to your experience means that it can have a more universal uh, appeal. I think if you'd have tried to 
uh, appeal to a wide audience and mm. written for everybody, yeah. it might not have had such a universal appeal, but because it's so personal, it's so mm. real and authentic, I think everyone can connect to it. And that does come across, I mm. have to say. I mean, it was... And, and even before, you know, we, we got to see the movie itself, um, the reality, uh, you know, I, you know, I said to uh, uh, one of the ladies, the Larrakia ladies, I said, oh, my goodness, you know, this, you know, this is about us. Yeah. You know, Miranda's actually brought us into this mm. uh, for this celebration. So there was a lot of, there was a lot of love <laughs> in that <laughs> reception. Yeah. Um, did you feel that? Well, I was, um, I was like, I was sitting with, um, I was sitting with my mum and my auntie, and um, James, my husband, and and um, and and Gwilym was there with his partner, and I was just thinking to myself, like I was looking around, thinking. What are, what are people? I was like, I guess I was over, I was over analysing it. But um, uh, James was just saying, you've got to remember that this is the first time you've presented. Like it's one thing to be living here in Darwin, but it's another thing to see it on. So uh, everyone was just kind of absorbing it and going, oh wow, this is like this is immortalised in in film now. <laughs> so and um and I and um. Yeah, that didn't really kind of sink in until um, I've just been thinking about all the logistics along the way. I haven't been sort of present with the significance of what that means to people. And I think it was, I think it really hit home when I was, when the credits rolled and I was like, oh, wow, this is what, you know, this is what, um, this is what I was hoping for. <laughs> we also, sorry. We, I think we were all starstruck as well because uh, the ant anticipation of, of seeing you both on the on that red carpet and and uh, seeing Rachel, our very own Rachel yes. uh, who, uh, Chisholm, who yeah, who's yeah. one of our broadcasts and has, has gone such a long way. And worked yes. so hard on the film. She, she worked was, so she was hard on the film. Yeah. yeah. Yes. yes, and uh, to see so many of us being transformed because of this beautiful film. Oh. You know, so, you know, I've, I can, you know, wholeheartedly say, you know, on behalf of the community of Darwin and Alaricae and, and beyond, you know, this is wonderful, wonderful tribute as well. Oh, thank you, you so know. much. So, so the storyline, everything, we, can, we feel as though we have a piece of that. Oh, absolutely, and that's and that's what I wanted. I wanted, I wanted people to take ownership of this, and um, and I I didn't do this like, I, and I'm so grateful that I didn't do this alone. Like, um, we had Wayne Blair, we had um, a really wonderful cinematographer, Murray Louie, who's a Torres Strait Islander man, who's uh, filmed in, who's filmed on Tiwi and throughout the territory many times. Um, this was his first. Um, this was his first feature, and um, one one thing that really stayed with me when he was up here filming was like we were on Jarwin Country in Catherine Gorge, and um, he was telling me, "Oh, sis, like um, uh, the light is bouncing off the escarpment and onto you, and, and is lighting you really well. So if you tilt." Like if you're if you face this way, then you're this is you're gonna look great, you know. And um, so uh, like it was just so great. I was like, oh wow, this is proper like indigenous filmmaking. They're using like people are reading the land and going, okay, well this is how we're gonna do it. We're not gonna try and fight that with um with all the equipment. We're just we're just gonna use it for the way it's presented to us. And, and this kind of you know we can call it narrative or you can uh, putting a put a cultural lens over things. But mm. this is how I'm seeing uh, so many different um, uh, things that are, we've been looking at in, in developing North Australia with scientists. They're going with, okay, local knowledge, Indigenous knowledge. And this, this actually just puts so much more value, uh, in my view, oh, to, to you. what you're doing. What you've done is, you know, is probably much more than what you realise. Uh, you know, brought to, to Darwin. Uh, this is how Darwin has come together um, to, uh, to welcome you, to say thank you for giving, this, giving us this wonderful experience, uh, to meet you and to, to greet you back again. And uh, we hope that uh, 
you know, we have continued success and bring some more homegrown beautiful movies and productions to Darwin. This is, this is our dream uh, for the top end for Darwin and right across the top end of Australia. So I'd like to uh, thank you on behalf of uh, Aboriginal Broadcasting Australia for coming here. And uh, if there's any last messages, uh, Miranda, would you like to say anything? Uh, to those who will be watching because we're not just going to be broadcasting in Darwin, this is going national and also international. Oh yes, well I'd obviously like to thank the the traditional owners that uh, that on whose land we all filmed on. Um, so obviously I mentioned the Jarwin before but there's also the Mire in Kakadu and there's also um, uh, the Laric and of course not forgetting the Larrakia but and, and, and definitely the Tiwi. So um, I'm, and everyone absolutely got behind um, the film 100% because it was there to celebrate them. It was there to celebrate their country. So um, I think uh, what what I really encourage in uh, Australian filmmakers, not just Indigenous filmmakers, but all the filmmakers, when you bring um, Indigenous people into the conversation, it just it just makes, and f with this film, the, the film sang because we had, uh, we had uh, the traditional owners to ground us in their knowledge and it's very apparent in the film. So um, I think that's something important for lots of uh, Australian filmmakers to note. That's wonderful. And Gwilym. Well, I, I just think like the beauty of this story is like, you know, stories have brought us together. Telling a story has brought so many different people together on this project yeah. and, and uh, united us all from different, from far corners of the world. So um, I think, uh, yeah, I would say find what you you feel passionate about, find what you want to talk about and share, and tell your stories, and uh, don't let them kind of disappear. It's a wonderful message, and let's keep the humour and things. As yeah, well. thank yeah, you so absolutely. much. Absolutely, thank you so much. Words. That's yeah. so kind. Thank you. It's a pleasure having you here. Thank you.